part two of the regression uh, add-on module. We have been uh, appraising a tri-level house. Uh, we brought data in from a local MLS. Um, MLS, MLS data is, is very much superior to tax card data. However, it is not near as good as uh, what would come out of something like a win total database or uh, Jim's uh, local area data sharing, the, uh, the cooperatives that share data. Uh, that data would be much better to use, and I uh, can't wait till uh, Jim can get me a sample to use. Okay, so where we are now is we are ready to run the model, and run the model. Actually, the word model is used uh, because uh, regression is going to try to create a market model from this data, which it will apply to the sales, each sale, and will also uh, we will also have it apply to the subject. So let's run the model. And the model did run, uh, and Chris will tell you that's a good thing in a beta version. What we have here is a chart that represents the uh, model's prediction of the sales price. All these blue spots are the model's prediction of a of the of one of the sales sales prices, as compared to what it actually sold for. This line, the red bold line, represents a zero a deviation which would mean the model predicted exactly what the property sold for. We can see we have one, two, three, about four that the model predicted exactly. Now we have a few outliers. Here's one way up at 40 percent. Now we can click, uh, click the delete and rerun and what it will do is it will delete the worst one. It's going to delete this 37.3 percent. So we'll delete it. It reran it. And uh, we have a where we had approximately 59 sales, now we're down to about 58. We like to have from 15 to 30 sales. So we can, we have 29 we could delete. Let's just delete some of these out. Let's delete a few of these out and it's deleting the, the ones that are the worst with the model. Now we have a high and a low. Uh, uh, our model's predicting as high as 15 percent and as low as uh, probably 17 or 18 percent. So let's go ahead and just delete a few more of them. You can, how many you can delete depends on how many you start with. I'd like to delete down to where they're below plus or minus 10 percent. Now I want to show one feature. We have one here that's above 10 percent. Let's look at this. It's 10.5 percent. Let's go to the uh, sales and here's our workbook that shows the model's prediction, the difference between the prediction and the sales price, the uh, percent difference and the absolute difference. Uh, we get into absolute differences because uh, if a model has a bunch of sales that are 40% too high and a bunch that are 40% too low, on average it might look very good. Uh, it might come out to a plus or minus 2 or 3% on the average, but we know that 40% high and 40% low is not good. So we want to use the absolute. Uh, and by the way, that's the reason that standard deviation formulas use square roots. It's to get rid of the negative. Uh, they make those formula looks ex look excessively uh, difficult. Uh, but back in the day, they they didn't normally do just the absolute difference. They uh, they did the square root to get rid of the negative. Uh, so those formulas really aren't as complicated as they look. Now what we were looking for is this one that's 10.5%. Now what we're going to do is let's say we had decided that that was a really good sale. We're going to mark this and highlight it in yellow so that uh, so that the uh, computer knows. I was going to go to charts where I was going. So the computer knows not to delete it. So what it will do is it will continue to leave that one there. Um, uh, now let's go back and find it. As the model changed, it probably changed a little bit. Let's go down and find it uh, in the sales. It is This one is highlighted. And it got a little better in the model as it went. Now it's 7.7 percent. Maybe, maybe we felt like that was a really good sale, three or four, and we wanted the model to center on those sales rather than some others. So that's just a feature we wanted to have in there so the appraiser has control over which um, over which uh, sales that the model feels are the most important. Now let's delete one or two more. Well, we're within 10 percent now, so let's just stop here a minute and let's look quickly at 
the model. Uh, R squared is 97%. We have 42 sales. And by the confidence rating that I programmed in, we have 94%. Okay, in part three, we'll look at the actual model output as it relates to the uh, property characteristics.